going to take me a bit to get used to this. Like filming in the daytime. It's just... But it's the New Year's and New Year's is about change. Change that people don't like. Happy New Year's! And this is going to be my first video filmed and posted in the New Year's. My wrap up does not count because technically that was uploaded before midnight. But I wasn't checking my laptop because I was nowhere near my laptop at the time. Because I was at friends watching fireworks explode and whatever. But I actually have this little clip of me releasing a lantern so I could um, tune that in now. Wonder. No! Can't even reach. Can they go? Can they go? Oh. Woo! Woo! No! Yay! Oh. Mine's going to. Yep, UFOs have been proven to be our lanterns. Goodbye. This is Toot, another great book to be near. Just so you know, it's minus 40 out here. And I think they keep the booktubing community awesome. Okay, happy new year! That's what I did with my new year's. Today I'm going to be doing my TP off of January. I want to start the new year with reading a whole bunch of books and just being awesome. Reading this many books in this year since I've been reading a lot. But that's going to have to wait because I have finals this month. Unlike a majority of people who had their finals or exams in December, mine is this month. We have a week of review and then we have a week of our exams, tests, quizzes, whatever. Whichever way they put it, it's a lie. So I'm going to be busy with them. This reading month is probably mostly going to be laid back because I don't want to like read anything that is too complicated that my mind is going to explode just trying to keep up or trying to make sense of whatever I'm reading. So I chose some books that I think are light-ish, possibly. The first book you guys know I'm reading is Unholy by Neil Schusterman. This one I have begun in December, but I'm gonna try and finish it soon so then I can read some of the other books. But so far this book is good. I'm only like 54 pages in. I've been reading this for three days. The Walking Dead has been taking my time. Another book I want to read, I've been like picking it up and putting it down for like probably five times. That is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I've had this book for a long time and I hear that these books are good. They described it as obsidian, except it takes a bit longer to start. Forget if... Is that... Am I using the right book? Am I? But I hear this one is pretty freaking good. My friend recommended it to me over the summer two years ago, and I bought it two years ago. Awesomeness. I want to see what this vampire book is about. And plus, I've seen the movie trailer, and it seems pretty freaking cool. It's just, it looks awesome. Another book I think will be a quick read is Fearscape by Simon Holt. This is the last book in the Devouring Trilogy that I love so much because it's spooky and it's creepy. But this is the last book and like with last books in series I tend to procrastinate them just so I don't finish them and I'm like, how does it end? What? These books are pretty fast paced for me so I want to read this one so then I can like you know, say I finished it, and plus, it's not that big of a book. The last book I want to read, I think, is a middle grade, because this author has a reputation for writing middle grades, and plus I had this book for a long time, but haven't read it, and that is The Serpent's Shadow by Rick Riordan. I was so excited for when it was going to come out that I was, I was ready, and look at me a year later, still haven't read it, and I'm just like, I don't know. But these books are nothing too complicated, in a way. Last book in a trilogy I have. I've been waiting to read the Percy Jackson books and also the Here's a Olympus books. But I, it's hard to do that when the copies at my school went missing. Missing. 
and I haven't been buying my own copies. I don't. I want to see myself buy my own copy soon. It's kind of hard since I have been searching uh, chapters a lot and finding so many good books to buy. It's hard. I've actually been staring at my bookshelf. I also, and other than these books, I know that there's probably some other books I want to read this month, but I don't want to say them because I want to say that this month is going to be laid back since I do have my exams. After the exams are done, I am home free. I am free. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later and goodbye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm also going to be filming the longer version of my bookshelf where I take out every single one of these books, show you the covers, and put them back or whatever. What have I gotten myself into? I always wonder that when I sell. I want to be doing that before I go back to school. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later and goodbye.